Gum recession is common and really can occur at any age, but now a treatment called pinhole gum rejuvenation can correct receding gums with no surgery and little to no downtime. Here to tell us more, we welcome back Dr. Kelly Blodgett and his patient Jody Bolka. Good to have you both with us. Thank you. Thank you. So, Doctor, let me start with you. What is it exactly, and and why should we be concerned about receding gums? Great question. Um, well. When your roots get exposed, yeah. you have nerves underneath there that can be very sensitive, um, and the root surface itself can wear away a lot more quickly than the enamel of the tooth. So it's, it can be an unsafe thing to have a lot of root exposure. Right. Um, most people might complain of like cold sensitivity or sensitivity to acidic foods, things like that. Sure. So um, Dr. Chow, who invented this pinhole gum rejuvenation technique, came up with a way very minimally invasive surgical procedure to bring the gums over the roots without having to make incisions oh, or do wow. stitches, which is really great. That's incredible. We're taking a look at, at how it works. So, so, and with no surgery? Well, I mean, technically it's a surgical procedure right? in that you're lifting the gums and moving them, but right. you don't, because you're literally making about a two millimeter pinhole wow. to then come underneath the gums and move them gently over the roots. Right. You don't have to make all the incisions, then stitch it all back together, which was the solution that we had before. The grafting kind of, right? Yeah, and you know, it's understandable why so many people wouldn't choose to do that. Right. Um, it's very uncomfortable and the healing process takes a long time. Absolutely. Jody, tell me why you went to see the doctor, Dr. Blodgett. Like what were you feeling in your mouth? What was bothering you? Oh, well, I had some sensitivity because right. I had an exposed root above my canine tooth. And Dr. Blodgett um, talked about the pinhole right. uh, procedure. And so I went with it. And it was ended up being great. The, I had no discomfort post-procedure. It was very simple. I had no downtime. We're taking a look at a picture the, the before. So tell me, doctor, what we're seeing here. Right. So the picture on the left shows where she had... Um, we had put some veneers on the teeth and there was root that was exposed and rather than making a veneer that was really long and kind of you know odd looking and unbalanced right. we put the veneer uh, right where we would want the edge of it to be and moved the gum over the root all at the same time and then allowed Jody to heal up which she did a great job of right. taking care of it it reattached and uh, I mean it, it was a very simple process H yeah how yeah. did you feel before and after Oh, easy. Yeah. I had no complications post-procedure. And how do you feel so, now? Great. Yeah. Great. I think it's been four years. Wow. And it still looks great, feels great, and the um, gum is still attached. That's to great. Yeah. yeah. And it, let's take a look. You have a couple other patients that you did the same procedure on. And so tell me about this patient here. Let's see. That looks like... Uh, that made oh, sorry. Very, here we, there go. we go. Here we go. Yeah. Th so that was actually an, an older gentleman who had uh, driven up from Eugene. And you know he had. This is so common, right? You get the gold uh, right. and, and porcelain fused to metal crowns on. Over time, you get recession. Those ugly edges start to show. Right. Um, so rather than taking all those crowns off to get a better aesthetic result, we just moved the gums back to where they were originally, and they reattached, as you can see. Does it take long? I mean, you said d there's little to no downtime. So is everyone about the same in their reaction to it? Well, you know, it can vary, right? right. So in Jody's case, we're literally dealing uh, with the gum issue with one tooth. Sometimes we're talking, you know, the entire mouth right. uh, for some, pa uh, some patients. So um, certainly if you're doing more care at once, your recovery may be a little longer. Um, but generally speaking, you're still able to eat most foods you know you want to avoid hard crunchy things but you can uh, eat most salads and soups and things like that um, you don't have the stitches to worry about in there That's so, so yeah great. Really this is nice. absolutely fantastic now we want to tell folks if they'd like to find out more about uh, chow pinhole gum rejuvenation we're going to put all the information for you on our website at katu.com thank you both very much appreciate thank it you. and you're beautiful <laughs>